Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the User Panel MySQL Manager module. To access the MySQL Manager module, go to the left hand sidebar and under SQL Services, click the twirl down arrow and select MySQL Manager. Otherwise, from the dashboard, scroll down to the SQL Services and select MySQL Manager. This opens the MySQL Manager module, which shows you your disk usage and number of MySQL databases that you've already created as well as what you have available. And this will vary by your plan. Below, you'll see a table of databases with users, which you can sort by database, disk quota, or users. If you have a long list, you can use the search function to narrow it down. You can also click the List Users tab to show the various database users that you have. From the Users tab, you can change the password or delete the user. To change the password, click the Change Password button, and you can enter in a custom password or use the Encrypt key to generate a random password. If you use the Encrypted drop-down menu here, you can select between alphabetical, alphanumeric, or alphanumerics and symbols, and then generate a new key until you get the strength that you're looking for. The password is automatically copied to your clipboard. Click Change Password to save the change. To delete the user, click Delete User, and then Confirm. To manage your databases, go back to the List Databases tab, and here you have the actions to optimize the database, check the database, repair the database, back up the database, and that will create a SQL file for you to download locally, or you can delete the database. Additionally, from the Database tab, you can edit user privileges, and here you can change the host, and adjust the privileges, and impose any resource limits that you choose. By leaving the limits at zero, it removes all limits. You can also add new users to this database or add an existing user. To add a new user, click the Add New User button. Here you can define the new user name, assign a host, Generate a secure password, and you can adjust that by clicking the encrypted drop down menu. You can automatically generate a random password until you achieve the strength that you're looking for. The password is copied to your clipboard automatically. You can use the twirl down arrow for privileges to assign any specific privileges. You can impose resource limits as necessary, or remove the limits by setting it to zero, and then save. And the new user is created and added to this database. To add an existing user to the database, click Use an Existing User, select the user from the drop-down menu, assign a host, Assign the privileges, assign limits if any, and then save. And the existing user has been added to this database. To add a new database, click Add Database. Here you can give your database a name, and you can use the default character set or set a specific character set if you prefer. 
If you would like to create users to assign to this database, you can click Create User, assign a username, assign a host, assign a password, assign privileges, assign resource limits, and then when you're done, click Save. If you'd like to add a new user without adding them to an existing database, you can click the Add User button. And here, you can provide a username, assign a host, assign a password, and select a database if you choose. This user hasn't been assigned to a database, so they don't appear in the Databases tab, but we'll see them when we list users here. For more information about the MySQL Manager module, please refer to the Control Web Panel Documentation User Guide. Thanks very much for watching.